Hello everyone, uh, in this episode I'm going to talk about what I wore today when I went uh, riding my bike. And so uh, it was, uh, when I woke up it was like 30, maybe 35, 37 degrees. So here's some of the things that I did to try to stay warm and, uh, you know, uh, prevent the wind coming uh, into my body and freezing me to death or making the ride unpleasant. So let me first start off with uh, like the gloves here. Uh, they, these are just simply um, nothing more than felt gloves, uh, fleece gloves, that's all they are. But underneath I wore uh, nitrile gloves and they seem to work. Um, I actually went for a ride today, it warmed up to be about 47 degrees, and uh, I just wore the gloves and went to Walmart, and I could actually feel cold on my fingers. It wasn't that bad, but it, it, in the wind, these don't. Let's have a look. See, these don't do that great, uh, but the combination of nitro gloves with this. It's good enough. I mean, most I ever, fastest I ever went was like 20, 20 miles an hour on the Mini Rad Rover, or the Rad Mini Rover. No, I'm sorry, the Rad Mini on my electric bike, and uh, maybe, maybe, maybe 25 miles against a headwind. Not too bad, uh, but it does help. Uh, the thing that helped the most was this, and I could zip this, and basically. Uh, have my nose and a little bit of my mouth stick out. Uh, if I zipped it all the way up, it's hard to breathe through through this zipper, and uh, I was having a hard time breathing. But other than that, I put this over my head, put my helmet on top. I had to open up my my helmet a little bit. The latch in the back. Uh, hold on, let me uh, let me go get it. All right, so here's the helmet and. So out of all the nicest nicest thing I have, this is probably the nicest thing I have that I actually spent money on. Uh, all the other equipment and gear, I just use what I have, or get, um, or just get at Walmart or Target or, or Goodwill or whatever. So basically, I had to um, open this up. I had to open. Actually, I had to. Yeah, I had to open it. So, um, but, and, and put it on my head. It was a tight, it was a tight fit and the, and the, uh, the, uh, the chin strap was kind of tight, but it, it, the chin strap came right about here, uh, but it was just enough to right under my chin, right around here. And, uh, it worked, it worked out really well. So. Um, unfortunately, I think winter is almost over out here in Houston, so I don't think I'm going to be using this. This may be the last time, but uh, for next winter, I know what to wear. And so that's what I wear on my head. Now, as far as my body, keeping my body temperature was really important. So basically, this was what I, what I, what I did here. So. This was my setup. It was uh, basically a simple cotton nylon polyester fleece interior. Uh, you can kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see that. Probably you can't. Um, but it's a, it's a, some kind of fleece. There you go. You can kind of see it. Fleece on the inside. And what's nice about this is that it has this. Um, It has this, uh, you can't quite see it. Hold on here, let me get a flashlight. Okay, I'm back in. So this is what I'm talking about. It has uh, this on the cuff right here. It has this thing on the cuff right here. And uh, basically, uh, it it's kind of nice because it uh, covers your wrist. Um, and then you can see the fleece here. Uh, what I like about this uh, hoodie is, if if I can if I can get to it, there it is. 
is right here. It's this is where it's nylon, and uh, it allows my sleeves or anything else to slip in the uh, arm section real easy, much more easier. And so that was my outer shell for the most part, and that kept a lot of the wind out. Um, but it doesn't always work that way. It, it, it allows some wind in, and so I needed a windbreaker, kind of like a windbreaker. Um, so this is where this comes in right here. And uh, what I like about this one is on the wrist, on the wrist here, you can tie it up. You could strap it. I usually have it loose, but when when I use it, I'll tie it up so it tightens on the wrist. And then uh, this is used for rain. It's a, it's a light jacket, but it's actually waterproof, I guess. Um, it doesn't allow any water to come in, so it's for rain and stuff. And the large collar, it has a it has a hood in here. I, I have never used it because I like the 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 large and stiff collar that it that it makes. You can see right there, and it really keeps uh, a lot of the wind out from my neck. And so that's that's essentially what I used underneath the the hoodie and uh, it really kept a lot of the wind out um, if it's if it's waterproof it probably will be windproof not exactly but you get the idea um, the only thing about it was that it doesn't breathe very well uh, but that's okay because in the cold it uh, it worked out because as i was perspirating it 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 kind of stuck it's it's stuck to the inside there there is a vent right here but it's not going to vent obviously with the hoodie on but it uh, it the moisture stuck on to the inside and um, it acted like a cooling system because I did I, I was getting hot because I was getting quite a workout riding the bike but uh, it it cooled once it hit this layer and uh you know it, it started cooling right away and uh it, it worked out well because the wind this thing doesn't block the wind it just slows it down the hoodie just slows it down for the most part um but what kept me pretty dry was actually this right here this inner piece here this is what kept me dry this piece right here and this is a like a mid layer it actually goes um, this is what I usually wear underneath something like like this something like this and uh, it's basically uh, Under Armour but it's the cheap version probably Target or Walmart and I and I usually buy the large um, it's not tight on my skin I use it as a long sleeve shirt and I use the white one uh, because in the summer it, it gets really sunny uh, but in the winter I use this as a uh, inner layer and uh, it's not tight it's actually just a feels it the size of it is it's although it's a large um, for me it fits as a uh, a medium and it's just like a long sleeve cotton t-shirt or a long sleeve cotton shirt pretty much and it wicks away a lot of the um, it wicks away a lot of the sweat and it's very breathable and uh, it almost feels like a second skin and so on this side this is what I had inside and this this one right here is the mid layer that I use and uh, you can see it has this it has these holes right here you can see you know and I'll try to give you a demonstration here um, hold on here as I try to show you so like here see this is what it does and this is great not so much during the summer I don't wear this during the summer but during the, the the fall and winter this is what I wear inside the house and when it gets a little cold I usually 
my hands get a little cold, I usually do this. Uh, and believe it or not, doing this much makes like a huge, a huge difference in the way your hand feels. And so I, this is kind of what I do. And um, so, but but this is breathable, believe it or not. This is very breathable and it does allow a lot of uh, air to pass through and it wicks away the sweat. So I have those two layers. So I have the inner layer, outer layer, and then this over it. And even though uh, it, this is not breathable and it collects a lot of the moisture, but it also keeps out the moisture, but I'm sweating. Uh, once the, once my perspiration starts saturating into this layer, the cold hits, actually goes through the hoodie and it, it uh, basically um, cools this down and actually have a very nice kind of like uh, climate inside the jacket and so that's that's worked out really well I'm gonna learn a lot from that um, as far as the pants goes um, basically I just wear a uh, cargo pants cotton cargo pants on the inside and uh, with the belt and over the belt uh, over that pants I wear this kind of like breathable sweatpants kind of material something I get from either Target or um, Walmart or something like that very inexpensive and between those two things that I wear uh, it works it actually keeps a lot of the wind out my legs were not cold um, and this is the socks I wear and it's just a simple cotton socks believe it or not it's well it's not cotton 100% cotton it's uh, multi-layered you can see it's, it's thicker you can see it's you can see it's thicker on the bottom and in the toe area there's there seems to be some some sort of cotton uh, polyester mix and then it gets thinner it's thinner up here on the top area and then pretty thick this is this is pretty much cotton right here and with a little bit of elastic in it but it's not 100 percent pure cotton but what i've noticed is um it does um keep my foot dry and the thickness makes it very comfortable so uh but my feet did get a little cold uh these were the shoes that i wear again uh simple walmart shoes um it's very breathable as you can see um and, and it's old it's getting old it's it's uh you can see the, the traction here is getting worn down uh one of the things i was gonna think about doing on this was um plasti dip it <laughs> actually uh I, i've been working and playing with plasti dip so i'm thinking about just plasti dipping the the front and and the soles here and and some parts of the front here and um just to cover it and see how that would work maybe next time during the winter um, it's kind of warming up so I, I don't know if I'm going to do it but if I have old shoes around I don't mind plastic dipping it or playing around with it that way and I'll see how it works um, I love kind of just hacking using life hacks and uh, basically using cheap material and then adding uh, another material to it like plastic dip or um, just simply <laughs> layering, um, putting two different types of material together and uh, getting the same effect as a very high-end, very expensive piece of clothing. And so um, that's, that's it. That's, that's kind of what I wore for my um, cold trip and the, um, f for my uh, Rad, Rad Mini. Uh, hopefully this helps some of you, uh, give you an idea of maybe uh, what to wear or what to do um, and again you don't have to be uh, you don't have to go out and buy stuff most likely there's a very good chance most likely there's a very good chance that you probably already have uh, some of the things uh, to stay warm while riding uh, from in my case a an electric bike uh, going 
15 to 20 miles an hour in 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 cold wind you can feel it um, the biggest difference I would have to say that I've noticed was definitely definitely the balaclava I guess you call this a balaclava uh, I did keep my cheek and my ears warm the nitrate gloves with the uh, fleece gloves that made a difference and believe it or not the um, this uh, Columbia you can see right here this Columbia um, water weather jacket it's a very light weather jacket uh, I wonder what it's made of uh, actually I'm kind of curious to to see it's um, well all I know is it's made in uh, Vietnam but anyways it's 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 not very breathable it's it's meant to um, for rain but it does keep a lot of the wind out I didn't feel any wind on my chest or around my neck and uh, this made a big difference and although it does uh, keep in a lot of the moisture um, in the cold it kinda kept me from overheating uh, so it actually kept me cool uh, Bef you know so when it hit the third layer here it, it, it kept me cool and this kind of and the and the outer layer here kind of just um, slowed down the wind enough for this to work really well anyways uh, this concludes this episode so um, feel free to like dislike uh, leave a comment or even do a video response until next time stay tuned